Good morning, guys. Okay, so I'm out here in a duck pen, and um, the other day I noticed this strand broke. It was originally back there. Um, I moved it closer and I tried to tie it together, but I'm not quite happy with it. I noticed that some of the flags are starting to really get worn down and it's the Florida heat, you know, it, it does it, the Florida sun. So when I, as soon as I brought them over here, all of a sudden I have crows again. These prayer flags do work on keeping the crows out very efficiently. So what I'm going to do today is um, after I get done doing the morning chores, I'm going to come back out here. I'm going to take and get this one and I'm going to try and sew a little bit. I I'm going to try to make these last as long as I can because they do work. Um, I don't want to have to go out and buy more just yet. But here's where it broke. I do have it slightly tied. But what I want to do is I want to actually string both of these together and string them down the center here. Only because my ducks love laying in these fallen pines and the crows know it. So I'm thinking if I can string them across here it will keep the crows away i'm not having any issues up here but i had a, another viewer give me another great idea which i did spend a little bit of money and got some and i'm going to show you guys um, what else i bought that's going to be fun in here because these prayer flags they work great i, I do recommend them to keep out crows they keep out all the, uh, any type of predator bird too, because when, um, it's just something about, I guess it's just because the flags and they wave, you know, they're really lightweight, so the slightest little breeze, they wave. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys if I can fix this, maybe add some link to it. Oh, look there, there's a crow right there. Go away! <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to try and add some string at the end, so that way I can actually get it across here. And I'm still going to use these poles. Um, these are just some old tent poles that we have, um, and we decided to repurpose them. But I just stuck them in the fence. And I'm still going to use that because it, go it does give me the height I want, so that way we can easily walk over these. But, yeah. So hold on tight and we'll see if I can get these, uh, add some more string to them and just do a little bit of maintenance and get it all the way across. Stay tuned. Oh my goodness, you guys have been playing in the mud. You are a dirty, dirty duck. Here, I filled up the pool for you. All right, guys. Got my scissors, I got twine, and then I got plastic twine. Now, I did make a modification. I didn't realize I had forgotten about it because it's been so long. But I had taken some of the old uh, plastic twine that I had, and I actually added it to give me some extension on the uh, flags here. So I'm going to add to this, but on the other end. And then I'm going to go through and just do some, hello Foxy, like just some general maintenance, um, let me get it in focus, you know, making sure the stitching is still good, flags aren't too ripped, too damaged, that's if a cat, Foxy, what are you doing? This is not for you to play with, but I'm just going to go through it real quick. And then I'm going to take it back outside and then I'm going to string it across the whole, the whole pen itself. So let me get going before Foxy decides to get tangled up in it and then take off running and I'm going to have flags all over the house. Silly cat. 
and this is why I can't have flags in a house. Foxy. Foxy, what are you doing? You're messing up my stuff. Foxy, you can't be doing this. You know that. Come on. This is my stuff. My flags. My flags. My stuff. You silly cat. You silly. Are you silly? Yes, you are. Alright, guys. So, got everything straightened out with the flags. It's a, they were actually in really good condition. No fraying, no nothing. It was just that one spot. I guess it got tangled up because uh, we've been having, um, we've been trapping a couple of different raccoons. And as you can tell, the trap's still up. But we've caught a total of three raccoons. And I noticed that the last uh, raccoon we trapped, um, that's when the fly was broken. So I'm thinking they're, they were, they are actually coming up over the fence in this area over here because there's tracks. But I went ahead and I got me some bamboo poles that I'm going to use to hook to the fence. And then it will help give me height so I can string it across the whole yard here. So that's what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and get one of these poles up over there and start stringing this along. Red shoulder hawk. All right, guys. Got it exactly where I want it. Over this area is where they do a lot of their nesting. I did some basic maintenance right in this area here. So that way the flags wouldn't get caught up in that tree. Um, or like any of the tall stuff here. And now, what I'm going to do is, <laughs> I can't wait to show you guys this surprise. I got me a bunch of pinwheels. <laughs> I got these off of Amazon. Um, it was like a clearance. I got 25 of them for $5. It's awesome. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these, and I got them in different colors. And I had to put them together. Um, so it was really fun because me and my daughter did it. Uh, but I'm going to take these and I'm going to stick them around the fence line. Just like I have all those dangly, shiny things. Crows don't like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. And then I'll show you guys the end results. Pinwheels are so much fun. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Pinwheels, guys. <laughs> okay, guys. End result. I got all the pinwheels up. I got the flags where I want them. I even got a pinwheel over there on the hogs. Now, the one that you see here... This one was, um, it didn't have all the parts to it, so me and my daughter, we just kind of stapled it to make it look like a pinwheel. So I put it down lower just to try to deter anybody, but <laughs> that's the only one that was kind of like halfway broken. But as you can tell, they are all just stuck on the fence line. And this, I'm hoping, will help deter the
the crows even more so I don't have to worry about anything. All right, we'll see you on the next one, guys. Hey guys, if you like that video, hit that like button, remember that bell and subscribe. And if you wanna see any of the other videos, check out everything over here.